G'day mate and welcome to Dogs Don't Included with me, Jedi. Today I actually want to cover shovels. Now shovels are a horrible little creature. As you can see, they'll actually dig through all your tiles without too much hassle. Um, these little guys eat regolith, dirt and iron ore. Now regolith we actually have no real use for. The dirt, eh? Um, dirt can be useful. Iron ore, obviously, we're going to probably can need to convert a lot of that into iron to actually convert it into steel. Now, in saying this, um, these little guys, if I bring up their navigation, they'll actually dig through normal tiles without a problem. Um, there are ways to contain them. Any uh, refined tiles, so that is uh, all your refined copper, refined gold, refined iron, steel, all those sorts of uh, refined brick tiles will actually stop these guys pathing through. Along with the bunker tiles, we actually make it steel. Uh, finally, any other items made out of refined metals. So, in the case of your airlocks, as you can see, I've got this one out of steel. I've got an airflow out of steel, a mesh tile out of steel. I actually also have a window tile made out of steel. Um, uh, made out of diamond, rather. Because that'll actually stop a shovel being able to bur burrow through it. And, of course, I've got the bunker tile on the end. Um, as you can see from the navigation, this guy can only wander around the outside. Lastly, water. Um, you would assume water would at least slow these guys down. Turns out it doesn't even worry them. Uh, if I just move him up there. Come on. And we bring up his navigation. He can path through this water without a problem. Um, it will come up with a drowning icon when he's pathing through the water. But unless you're going to build some very, very, very large lakes, it's really not going to worry him. So, yes, you can drown them, but not going to work terribly well. Um, as you can see from how close these tiles are together, there is no way for these guys to jump from one surface to another. So that is something you can keep in mind. Um, they will literally path around the tiles that they're currently standing on. Pneumatic doors made out of any material will actually stop a shovel from wandering out. But the biggest issue you have with these guys is just the sheer amount of resources that they want to eat. Um, down here, when he falls down, I actually have two tiles of regular here at 2,400 kilos each. Once he actually eats both of these tiles worth of regolith, which he will eat in two gulps, uh, he will he can actually excrete back out a single tile of regolith. So he can excrete that anywhere inside his little pen. And voila, we've now got a, a tile of regolith at half the mass that he consumed to start with. So anytime they, they consume regolith, dirt, or iron ore, they will actually half the amount of math, uh, mass um, when they excrete it back out. Um, so it is something you got to keep careful of, you keep your eye on with these guys. If you're going to attempt to contain them in any, any way, shape, or form, you're probably going to have to put an auto miner in the room to dig these tiles back up uh, to re-release the materials as um, a pile of materials, which then the, the shovels can re-eat. Now, shovels are, are the one critter that doesn't actually have an overcrowding debuff so as you can see in this really tiny room here uh it's only 15 tiles in size and i actually have six critters or one around here i could put 40 in here for all, all all the game cared and all the shovels cared they're really happy to eat you know live in the smallest tiniest um space there is and over here i actually have a a bunch that have been ranched the main reason i actually got these guys ranched is so i can actually show you some of their stats so they have a base reproduction of 2% per cycle, which means during their life cycle of 100 uh, cycles, five of which they're actually spending as a baby. So during their actual adult life cycle of 100 cycles, uh, of 95 cycles, they will actually reproduce and lay one egg. Now, that is enough to continue the species, but it's not enough to breed their numbers up. Uh, if you wish to breed them, you need to really, really make yourself aware that every single cycle they're going to want to eat 4,800 uh, kilograms of uh, regolith or dirt or iron ore. As I said, I'd only be feeding them regolith. Um, but I've actually got here two examples with a hundred thousand kilos each, uh, which will actually halve. So it's five tons each of regolith. And if I feed these into these two auto sweepers, one to dump it into the room uh, with the domesticated shovels, which has six in the room. If we bring up the overlay, this room has six. This room has six. You'll see that this room, these guys tear through this regolith so fast it's not funny. Um, of course, the the conveyor loader only brings it in 20 kilos at a time. So realistically, for 4,800 kilos, you're probably going to need a couple of conveyor rails. Um, well, for 4,800 kilograms per shovel per day, you're probably going to need a couple of 
conveyor rails with a couple of conveyor chutes to drop it into this room. Um, these guys will just tear through an unimaginable amount of raw material every, every single day. Now, over here I have pretty much the exact same setup, except these guys are wild. Now, because they're wild, they'll actually... Um, They'll actually consume less material every single cycle. Um, it's, I think it's half. Hang on, I just gotta check my maths. Nope, it's one quarter. So they're actually gonna consume one quarter the amount of materials um, every single cycle, which is a major, major, major difference. Uh, technically, it means you could actually store four times the amount of uh, shovels in the, in the exact same. You know, given the exact same amount of raw material. So, shovels, I would definitely recommend. Have a couple you want to domesticate, by all means. Um, as you can see, we're glum already. Uh, oh, I just heard one of them pupe. So, yeah, one of these guys is just spat back out regolith. These guys will also spit back out regolith. That is something you're gonna to want to keep in mind because they will happily spit regolith into the doorway. Um, I've made sure my auto miner up here should be able to clear the doorway. There is a chance that the regolith will spit onto the outside of the room. Um, best way to fix that is just double insulate the room. Hey, you. Good. Out of my way. Um, with tiles, that way, in theory, it can only be contained into the room, maybe into the doorway. Um, but yeah, hopefully the robot miner clears anything in the doorway. Um, yeah, as I was saying, it can be well worth it to domesticate just a couple of these guys to increase your egg numbers to then keep them all very, very wild in a very, very tightly contained room. Because honestly, they're worth a lot of meat. These guys, um, hatches are normally worth two kilo, I wanna say. Uh, hatches are, are, are a very large stable of meat that we use during the game. Hatches are worth two kilos per hatch. Uh, shovels, which eat an even larger waste material than what our hatches eat. Um, hatches, of course, we're, eat, uh, we're normally feeding igneous rock or sandstone or, or some of the other um, some of the other ores that we just have tons of. Granite's another good one. Uh, igneous rock. You know, these these materials we have actually tons of on the map and don't really have a large use for. Shovels eat regolith. Now, regolith falls from the sky every single cycle without fail, and we have just about no use for. Um, it is very, very handle, uh, handy as a fil filtration medium to replace the sand that we've been using up, up until then. But apart from that, it's absolutely useless. So if we can fit it shovels and get back meat, these guys are actually worth 10 kilos each. So they have the exact same life cycle as a hatch being 100 cycles, but they're also wonderful, wonderful meat. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave this video. Um, oh, actually, no, one more thing. So I, I have, this is like a very, very quick, easy-ish setup for shovels. I have a robo miner here to clear any um, any regolith that these guys might puke out anywhere. And we'll just add some more regolith so they've got something to chew on in the meantime. I have an auto sweeper here to ship out. I want to ship out their eggs um, only because I want to incubate them outside the room. Honestly, you could leave them inside the room without a problem. Um, there we go. We just spat out a whole pile of regolith. Um, also, at the same time, I want to ship out their meat and um, if you leave their eggs in there, you will want to ship out the uh, organic eggshell. So you will want to ship out the eggshell as well. Um, uh, but you will need, and you'll definitely need a robo miner to keep a, a hand on what they vomit back up. Uh, along with it, you're going to need a critter drop off to bring new critters into the room. This guy, this guy's only set to bring in uh, shovels. Um, the pups, as I said, I'd probably raise them somewhere else, but that's up to you. And of course, a conveyor chute to bring in all the hot regolith from the top of the map. Being that it is hot regolith, it is something you need to keep in mind. Your regolith is probably going to be around about an average temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. So you're going to have to think about how you're going to cool this room. This room will need some sort of active cooling for the machinery, um, just to make sure the whole thing doesn't overheat. Chevals are fairly happy at sort of any sort of temperature range. Um, in fact, they're actually fairly difficult to kill off. So personally, I'd just be letting them age up from old age and then retire that way um, to be converted into their media form. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video of me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you found this helpful, um, click the like button, tell your friends all about it. And if you wanna see more, quick quick tutorial videos like this, click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you then. Bye.